Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So last week's video was all about the Wing Chun basic drills. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you check it out. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three different strategies on how you can set up the jab. So if you've been practicing Wing Chun for a while and you get into a sparring situation or even a self-defense situation, you're not quite sure of how you can engage into that combat, into that action, I'm gonna show you three effective ways on how you can set up the jab to attack, to counterattack, and basically to bait the opponent. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, technique number one. So setting up the jab. So most people understand the concept of using the leading hand to punch and then they call it the jab. We call it the arrow punch. Now why we call it the arrow punch, that's a topic for another future video. So today what I'm doing is just setting up the situation with the arrow punch, with the jab, because I want to see how my training partner or my opponent reacts to that attack. So then once I see that, then I can take advantage of the distance and the timing. So first, if I have Sean just react to my jab. So let's say I shoot the jab and he punches back, right? So then I know more or less the rhythm of his reaction. So then I can take advantage of that and counterattack. Okay, second sequence. So for this one, I'm having Brendan feed me a cross. So in the previous one, Sean was launching a jab back at me. This time the opponent is giving me a cross. So they're punching with the other hand. So the strategy now when covering against that attack is different. The follow-up, practically the same. Perfect, scenario number three. So this time, let's say you're already fighting, you're already in the mix, you're sparring, the other person already understands more or less how you're using that jab, the distance, the speed, the timing. So what we can do next is set him up with a fake. So let's say he's on his guard and I'm about to make my move. He really doesn't know what I'm about to do. So if I go in and fake with that arrow, but I don't launch it, I just bring his attention up for me to switch and go in with that kick, it's a very effective move. Now when practicing, I always tell my students to go towards the midsection with, the, with this kick because it's safer. In a real fight, of course, you can fake and just go smack to that knee, okay? And then you can follow up. Now, another thing, whenever I do the sequence, I like to practice it this way, I like to teach it this way. Every time you kick, you may want to follow up with the double punches or the arrow punch. Just in case, if you miss, boom, you can follow up with the punches, okay? Because there's never really a perfect scenario when fighting. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, share it with a friend. And guys, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. There's plenty of material there to keep you busy training and taking your Wing Chun to the next level. If you haven't already, check out my online academy. It's umauniversity.com.au. That's a free introductory applied Wing Chun course you can check out and learn from those videos as well. Having said that, I'll see you in the next one.